to protect your property. When I say okay, you say all right. Okay? 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 Okay. 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 All right. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. All right. When I was 15 years old, I was driving down the street. I did not have a driver's license. The police pulled me over for doing a rolling stop. Y'all know what that is, right? I didn't have a driver's license. When that officer walked up to my door, I was like, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. He never asked me for my license. He said, be careful, and walked away. Two weeks ago, I'm speeding. Yes, I was speeding. I'm telling the judges. Now, I-94. The police pulled me over, Taylor Police. I didn't have my badge out or my police ID. When he came up to the window, I said these words, Sir, I apologize for speed. He said, be careful, and walked away. What was the common denominator between me and the officers? Right here. Somebody already said it. Respect. I got pulled over twice and never showed them any ID. Yes, sir. No, sir. I apologize to the officer for speed. So what are some of the things that you can do before the lights come on? I don't even want to see y'all, I don't even want y'all to have contact with the police. Y'all want to have a good summer. I want to have a good summer. Empire starts back up when? In the fall? I'm riding down the street listening to Truffle Butter and Post to be listening to my songs, and I'm trying to figure out why are they picking on me? It's my behavior. If I go to this party with my friends, what kind of friends am I letting in my ride? Okay? My buddy, he showed up with this new car. It's not his mama's car. The, the, the thing is punched out. And I'm figuring to myself, this may not be his car. The steering wheel is messed up. And then I got some crazy friends. I don't even let my crazy friends in the car. One of my friends is a radical. You know, Malcolm X and he's uh, the Black Panthers and all that. He hates the police. I'm not even letting them in my car. Because I got to go see my girlfriend, Mascara. And I'm not going to be able to see Mascara, my girlfriend, if I let him in the car. Because if I get stopped by the police, what's going to happen? Yeah, I'm going to jail because of him. You let your radical friend, Bosco, you know he don't like the police. Why are you letting him in the car? You trying to go see your girlfriend or your dude. Are y'all getting this? Something's not right. One out of three teenagers will still get in the car, even though they know something is, is not right. That's 30% of y'all. Okay? This was in L.A. Eight people arrested for being in a stolen car. Eight people. Now, they could only charge one, but guess what? This is a question you might be asked. Have you ever been arrested before? Now, the judges and the attorneys are going to clean this up, but that's a question they already know the answer to. Have you ever been arrested? You was in a stolen car. These are eight kids laid out on the sidewalk, in the street, because they were in a what? And the, half of them knew they was in a stolen car. That wasn't mama's car. Then your parents got to show up. Mom and dad coming down to court to visit her and these folks over here. And some of these attorneys. And you know that don't cost money. Y'all down, down at the liquor store selling rib dinner so you can afford an attorney. That's no joke. You down there selling hamburgers over at the liquor store so y'all can afford an attorney because you might be going to jail. No, not jail, prison. Okay? Ask your friend this question. Do you have a what? Do you have some? Do you have any? These are some questions you want to ask. How many of y'all in here got some no good friends? A lot of y'all got your hands up. I got some no good friends, but I don't hang out with my no good friends. You know why? Because they no good. Tell your friend to shut up. Commander Benison talked about your friend, the one that likes to holler at the police. That's him right there. Tell him to shut up. No. Don't say anything. No such thing as a what? You roll it, we'll write it. It's no such thing as a rolling stop. I found that out at the age of 15. Okay? Yellow does not mean what? It does not mean go faster. Okay? When the lights come on, pull over to the right side, pull into a parking lot of a gas station somewhere safe. Stop immediately. Turn off the radio. I dare y'all to do this. I dare y'all go to, go to Canada, go to the bridge, have your radio up, and be on the cell phone. I dare you. They're going to put a little slip on your windshield and say, pull over to the curb. And you're going to see some whole bunch of little people running out of the building towards your car. I found out. So now when I go to Canada, I tell my friends, get off the phone. 
Turn the radio down. And what country are y'all from? Don't say Detroit. Don't say Michigan. You're from the United States. Everybody say United States. That's where you're from. They didn't say, I'm from Detroit. I'm from Michigan. No, that's not what the man asked you. He asked you what country you're, where you're from. Now I'm detained in Canada, another country, because you don't even know where you're from. Come on, young folks. I got to go see my scare. Now I'm messing up my date. Now the officers are nervous. We're just as nervous as you are. We're nervous because officers get killed at traffic stops every month in the United States. We're getting killed. We're nervous just, just like you're nervous, okay? Put your hands on the steering wheel. If it's at night, turn the dome light on. Tell everybody, hands visible. I want to see everybody's hands. Stay in the car, because I don't know what you're doing getting out the car. I don't know why you're getting out the car. Because don't do that. You're getting all out the car. I don't know what you got on you. Stay in the car. I'm just saying. Be polite. Yes, sir. No, sir. And I think Judge Thomas is going to talk about if you don't want to say yes, sir, no, sir, there are other things that you could address, and she's going to talk about that. Don't fight. That's a no-no. Roll down all of your tinted windows, not the, not the tinted windows on the driver's side, but all the tinted windows. Because if I walk up on your car and those windows are up and they tinted, you won't see my weapon out. It's already bladed because I don't know why those windows are up. I can't see into the car. Turn on the interior lights. We talked about that, okay? If you are in the car with your friends and the police lights come on and your friends say, hey, man, hold this bag, what are y'all going to do? Don't you ever hold anything for your friends when them lights come on. You ever heard this, this phrase, I got caught holding a bag? Uh-huh, in a traffic stop, okay? So we're going to talk about that. We're going to show you a video. The three things that we're going to ask you for are your driver's license, your registration, and your what? You got stopped by the police. She, she, knew, she knew all three of them, okay? Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Don't bribe your foot money or donuts. Don't run from the police. Don't run from the police. I'm just saying, okay? Now, we're going to play this video of this young man. The last thing that I'm going to say be before we play the video is this. If the officer asks you, do you have, have you been, have you been drinking? Don't say, have you been eating donuts? <laughs> don't say that. So we're going to play this video of a young man who got stopped, and then we're going to turn it back over to the panel. Usually I don't do these kind of videos, but I feel like this one was necessary. Um, I was in Lexington maybe about 10 minutes ago taking care of some business and I was pulling out of the courthouse, taking the left. Um, and the lane was filled up with traffic, but the turning lane uh, that was a few feet up ahead of me was free. So I made my left turn and I proceeded to the median until I got to the turning lane. An officer pulls up behind me, throws on his lights. After understanding that he was there for me, um, I pulled off to the side, and he came up, and he said, uh, how you doing, yada, yada, yada. He said, reason I put you over is for improper use of the media. Um, he uh, told me what I did, asked for my license and my registration. I gave that to him. He left for a while. Now, I will say that while he was gone, I mean, while he was with me, I made sure my hands were on the steering wheel. I made sure to speak very politely, as I always do. Um, I did what he told me to do. I handed the information, and I sat there, and I waited, and I turned my music down. Um, a few minutes later, the guy comes back, hands me my stuff, and he explains, you know, the median needs to be open for emergency vehicles, blah, 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 blah. I was in the wrong. I didn't realize it. I just did it out of habit. Um, he gave me a warning, and I was about my way. Now, the point of this is to say that I am an African-American male. This gentleman was Caucasian. There were no problems. He did his job. I did what I was supposed to do. And that was it. You know, I need, I feel like, People need to understand that not all officers are crooked, not all officers are racist, bad people, and not all people who get uh, shot or tased or arrested by officers are innocent victims. You know, just because you're black doesn't mean you're a victim, just because you're white doesn't mean you're a racist, just because you're a cop doesn't mean you're a bad person. This world really needs to stop putting labels on people and things and see them as who they are, people doing jobs, doing things. Ignorance has no color. God doesn't see color. Why should we? All right, give him a round of applause. Short and sweet. Repeat after me. Minimum effort now, minimum effort now. equals minimum wage later.